We just solved this problem graphically using the TID4 graphing calculator. Now we'll solve this using the grapher from Desmos.com. Jolene invested $13,200 in a savings account that paid 7.5% interest compounded annually where the account balance can be modeled by our function A of t. So using A of t, we want to determine the account balance after 12 years, and then the second part, determine how long it will take for Jolene to have $69,657.62, which we'll solve graphically. Our first step will be to go to desmos.com and enter our function A of t. And using Desmos, we can use A and we can use T. So you can use the keyboard. I'm going to use the on-screen keyboard. And we're going to enter A of T. So we'll press this button for our letters. So we have A, open parenthesis, T, close parenthesis, equals. Now we'll go back to the number keypad. So press this button here. And we had 13,200 times in parentheses, 1.075, right arrow. We're going to raise this to the power of t, so we'll press a to the power of b, this button here. Now we want to enter t, so we'll go back to our letters and enter t. Press enter. So here's our function. To find the account balance after 12 years, we want to determine a of 12, so we can just enter a of 12. So a, open parenthesis, enter 12, close parenthesis, and notice how the function value, which is the account balance, shows here. $31,439.49. Let's go ahead and record this first. Now to determine how long it will take for the account balance to reach this amount, we'll also graph A of t equals this constant, then determine the point of intersection. And that's very easy to do using Desmos. So we'll press enter, and in number three, we'll enter A of t equals 69,657.62. So go back to our letters. A of t equals, back to our numbers, 69,657.62. Now let's go ahead and close the keypad. Notice how we can't see either graph because we need to adjust the window. To adjust the window, you press this wrench, which is the graph settings. I think it's helpful to use projector mode. If you click on this, it'll be easier to see. And now to change the horizontal axis or x-axis, we can just change these values here. Let's go ahead and change these to, let's go ahead and change these from negative five to let's say 30. The nice thing about this is notice how we can actually see the horizontal axis changing as we change these values. Now we also need to change the vertical axis or the y-axis. Remember the y-maximum must be higher than this constant value here. So let's change the y-axis to go from, let's say, negative 5,000 to, let's say, 80,000. Notice as soon as we do this, we can actually see the two graphs on the screen. So let's go ahead and close this. The nice thing about Desmos is it automatically calculates the key points on the graph. Notice how if I move the mouse over this point of intersection, we can see the coordinates of that point, where the T coordinate is 23 and the Y coordinate is a desired account balance of $69,657.62. Then notice how Desmos is rounding the function value to the nearest integer. But this tells us that it's going to take 23 years to reach a desired account balance. So Jolene will have accrued $69,657.62 in her savings after 23 years. I hope you found this helpful.